New crime to solve now. Oh shit! Oh man, hit and run! Alright gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site, the coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. The mouthpiece store strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA Okay, Phelps. Hand. Let's head out of here. Guy gave his wife a tap. Is this still They're traffic? Yeah, I guess so. Cases you've un unlocked or downloaded can be accessed for replay. Cool. Keep up. Keep up, bro. Rehab is a quitter. So solemn. Anybody here? Oh, well, another man. That one time there was a lady and she like kind of hit on us. It was cool. Okay, let's take a look at where we need to go. Raise cafe. Hey, guess what? Can you drive to this one? What, were you gonna walk? Where are you headed? Oh, right, we can take two different kinds of cars now. Looks like the DA is gonna press charges. And Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make and the DA likes conviction. I'll convince him to let it go. <laughs> How you do that? I'll give him something better. Hmm. Cole is, I mean, he's real brave. <laughs> he doesn't mind messing with his bosses. Seems like there were a lot of witnesses. Detectives! Over here! Right here! Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Oh, and uh, this is Stefan. Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're gonna take a look around. All right, let's investigate, take a look around. Hey, a hat! Something very strange about this hat. It's round, it's gray, but what is it trying to tell us? Hmm. Oh, there's a person oh. there! Landed on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. All right, sir, if you're still alive somehow and you can't hear me, I just want to say I'm looking for identification and nothing else. California Fire and Life, Lester Patterson. Dear Mr. Patterson, it is with great displeasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your this application. Is life insurance. As your standard veteran care policy entitled you to a lump sum payout of ten thousand dollars in the event of your ultimate uh, lump sum of sixteen thousand. What? In the event of your ultimate death or permanent incapacity, this is this new plan secures you. So he would get more if he died. Okay, Curtis Benson. That's interesting. All right, sir. I'm gonna put this back in your jacket. I'm gonna check the other side for identification. Lester Patterson, confirmed. That's him. You notify next of kin. All right, and how much money? Nope, just my. I'm not taking it. Just seeing how much you have. Looks like about three bucks. He did just leave the bar. I mean, all right. Let's check his hands. 
I'll tell you what, sir. Um, if if you are actually alive, if you can just move your hands, you don't even need to say anything. Just move your fingers, maybe a little, a little bit, little bit, little, little bit, little. No, okay, all right, that's fine. Stop taking pictures, damn it! Okay, let's go up to the head. I'm just gonna make sure you. Okay, yep, he is definitely dead. Definitely dead. We probably didn't need to talk to him that whole time. Okay, so let's what have you uh, look around. From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know Ooh. how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Okay. Excuse Careful me. Careful where you step in, Phelps. Oh, sorry. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. All right, all right, all right. Be cool. Yep. Got hit, went that away. Body traveled a good 20 feet. Means he was hit by a speeding car. He went that far. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. All right, and here's is this car peeling out or something. So the driver managed to break before the impact. Huh. So maybe they didn't mean to hit him. It's all yours, detective. All right. Ma'am, I'm going to need to ask you a Ms. couple Perry? questions. Yes? I'm going to need the answered Phelps. immediately. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. I'm going to need your eyewitness report, ma'am. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I uh, came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I believe you. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Suspect vehicle description. Can you give it us anything? What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Truth? Okay. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. 3C8. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. That's all? Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. What? I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Oh, jeez. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Interesting. Thank you, Miss Perry. So interesting. Very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Certainly got away with the damn spells. Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Sean, 1898. Thanks for the follow, my friend. All right, let's talk I'm to the bar. Of the LAPD. How can I help, Guy. detective? Name would be a good start. Bartender. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Okay. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Mrs. Patterson. Okay, well, uh, can you tell us about well, the hit and run incident, please? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Uh, I'm gonna say that I have doubts. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink Good. on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. 
All right. Uh, what's your what's your association with the victim? Do you sir? know the victim? Yeah, Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. All right. I believe him. Not one of your favorite customers. Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Interesting. By the way, I just want to point out how funny it is that uh, Cole has already sketched out a photo of this guy into his handy-dandy notebook. Okay, now, arguments overheard in bar. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? I have doubts. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Leroy, Leroy. Sabo, the owner. Finally, we got a name. Uh, joint business venture. Let's hear about this. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. You're not telling me enough, dude. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. <laughs> Thank Thanks for you. Your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Ooh, the love tap, huh? All right, well, we got a newspaper here, and I haven't read it yet today. Shrink to, to the stars. Promises mental breakthrough. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned in sanatoriums. If we can reveal the root of the problem, then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. Well, that's an interesting perspective. Dr. Harlan J. Fontaine. What's back out of that? All right. Now, uh, have I missed any clues? Do I need to talk to one of these guys? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, he's busy. Let's go and use your phone, if I can use the phone in the back. There it is. Hey, can I go to the bathroom? But, but, uh, we're getting stuck. We're stuck. Sir, is your bathroom locked? Oh, somebody's in there. Somebody's in there. All right. That makes sense. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need to run a partial license plate. Three Charles 8. 
Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks. Here like we, we go. got a break on this one. Yeah, we're really doing well. Hey, is that a mirror? Wow! Speaking of mirrors, let's see if I can put on a different outfit. I'm tired of wearing the golden boy. Uh, Sunset Strip, that's nice, yeah. Broderick, Sharpshooter, ooh, Sharpshooter will use later. I don't wanna, you know, it's nighttime, I don't wanna look too suspicious. There it is, Sword of Justice. The City of Angels is much more dangerous by night. You're damn right it is. Here we go. Oh, night camouflage. Don't ask me how I put this suit on. Actually, go ahead. I, I went to the bathroom when nobody was looking. What's this? So this is why everybody comes to raise. Very interesting. Hmm. Gambling. Uh, can we put this down as like some kind of, you know, clue? Let's use this. Show all clues. No, I don't think there's any clues nearby. That's why. All right, so let's um, let's head out. At least we've used one of those now. Okay, location is set to. I guess we should. I guess we should go to Patterson's residence. Okay. And you know what? I'll probably. <laughs> I'll probably just make Stefan drive. That's what I'm thinking. Per the use. Per the use. All right, let's go and find. Oh, there's a, there is a clue. Hold it. That's right. There's something in the trash can, isn't there? Whoa. Hello. Knife covered in blood. Could that be a steak knife. Is this a bloody is a hit knife. Run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Well, well, well. We may be in the midst of a murder scene. Cigarettes. I look at this. Cool. Huh. I wonder what this means. Let's put it down for now, and things will become clearer next time. Let's also... Climb up here, just in case. Everyone's like, Cole, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you climbing that thing? You could seriously die and hurt yourself. And I really don't see anything. And you know what? I just remembered. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. I just remembered that I made all the clues show up. So, yeah, <laughs> there wouldn't be anything up here anyway. Whee! Nice job, Cole. All right, let's... Did I just hear clapping? No, I guess not. Sorry. Uh, okay, so let's head over to the car. I'm just gonna... Just a brisk jog. Just a brisk jog. No. No. Oh, it's okay. We know. We know. Okay, just a, a light, brisk jog. See, nobody, nobody thinks you're dorky for running. It's okay. We were worried about that yesterday. Um, all right, so we brought that car, but... This car looks cooler. Hey, Stefan. You're behind the wheel. Guess who's driving the coroner's vehicle? You know the way. You can drive. You're kidding. Nice. We're getting the coroner's vehicle. Hey, we'll bring it back afterward. Here we are. Police, open up! Yes? Hello, Hello? ma'am. Mrs. Patterson. <laughs> Is this about my husband? We're it investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? 
<sighs> wow. This is a nice house. It smells nice. Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. No, definitely not. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I really? have someone here, and I... I beg your pardon? We just got here. You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. Yeah. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel <laughs> almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Hit and run incident. We want to know what you know, Lorna Patterson. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. Really? From the alleyway, perhaps? Maybe? You expect me to believe that, Lorna. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. Hmm. Nature of argument, please. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Was it about who was holding the knife? Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and went oh. back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. And what about your partnership with Libro Leroy Sabo? The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Really? Because I believe there was an insurance letter too. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? Little? What does she mean by that? Okay, use the insurance letter. 16,000 if he dies. Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, craft games, pinochle, you name it. She just Turns totally sold advice. the guy out. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run detective. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. I can't believe We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry in... for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. She just admitted to everything. What is she thinking? Bye-bye. Cool, let's call it in. Oh, and um, in case anybody has reported a stolen, um, a stolen coroner's vehicle, I have it here. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? Any messages? Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the oh. Patterson autopsy. And the missing car, probably. Thanks for your help. Well, dropped out again. Sorry about that. 
All right, so um, the coroner wants us to come back. Um, Stefan, the coroner wants us to go back. He's saying it's because of the autopsy. I think that because we stole his vehicle, he's working on our cases a lot faster. You drive. This is amazing. Go case notes. <laughs> Central Moore. Do, do we this. know where we're going? Nice. Gonna have to steal this guy's car more often. I mean, Central Morgue, 4.57 a.m. Take the Mortuary Night entrance. Which is just open. Different time, you know? Staff only. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Knew it. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We saw we the found knife. a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. Wow. We were about to convict the wrong person. Jeez. All right, so... Wow, there's two coroner vehicles now. Very nice. All right, hey, guess who's driving? You can drive. <laughs> Fine. All Where right. are we headed? That's a good question. Where are we headed? Shelton? Uh, the owner of the Lincoln Continental. I just want to talk to him real this person real quick. It's a lucky break getting a partial ID. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Why don't they just stop? You heard about fight or flight during the war? Sure. Never back your enemy into a corner. That kind of stuff. All right, I just want to see if we can get anything out of this person. And, you know, I don't know. See if they have anything to tell us. Shelton Residence, 5.55 a.m. That coward thinks he can run from everything. What the hell? William, get back here! Wait, William, is it... Is it, um, is it Bill? Is it Will or William? I don't know how to shout at you, bro. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Are you guys okay? All right, we're going to keep driving then. Get back here, Will. Shelton, get back here, Shelton. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Oh! Oh shit, just crashed into a house. We don't want to cause an accident though, do we? What is he doing? Get away. I don't think he can. It, he's he's attempting to though. Oh ow! Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Let's get him. Get out and shoot him. That's it. Cuff him and we're done. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Give it Bring up! Bring her in. LAPD! It's a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton. I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. No, Cole, no! 
No call. So, initial report came back with an ID on our victim, Lester D. Pattison of 182 North Hope Street. Captain wants us there double quick. Okay. See, I think you drive. I think what happened here is notes. we were just supposed to go back to Pattison right. after that. Where to? To the Pattison house. So now there's like two different timelines going on. Dun dun. How's it going? The case? We're just about done. All right, let's lock these guys up. Pattison residence. 18.46 a.m. Good morning! Get much sleep last night? Spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy sure stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is sure. Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Put oh, the God. gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how he had to get rid of him, how good it could be, uh -oh. all the money we could claim, uh -oh. all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up. the banks is covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with it. You think I'm going to fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Uh-oh. Shoot him for God's no, sake. No, 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 no. It's too late, Sabo. She's... Let's hope she doesn't die. Savo, get back here! Could be a Stop or I'll shoot! I really don't want to. Ah! Oh shit! You gotta be kidding me! Oh my god! I am a detective for the Los Angeles Police Department! Holy crap! That car just ran me over and kept going. I feel like maybe I should shoot this person. Please don't hit me any vehicles. All right, we're almost there. We're gonna get him. Oh no, not this again. Are we gonna make a bargain or what? Oh God. Put the weapon down now. I learned a lesson about this a long time ago. Don't let him hurt somebody else. Headshot. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Another dead one. Man, that's two. <sighs> so, I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. Done. Cool. Nice job, Phelps. Oh, oh, yes. Also, um, great job, Stefan. Right. Yes, gotta give it to Stefan. Okay, a marriage made in heaven.